Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini My Team Grammar here today for part 45 ahead of the Mexican Grand Prix. Now before we get to the racing we have to do a bit of housekeeping as the FIA have announced some regulation changes ahead of next season to the chassis and the power train. I was kind of expecting this as most developments we had nearly maxed out so I would save an R&D points and we save save nearly 5,000 so I managed to save as many as possible also we have a worn engine so I thought we'd be taking a penalty for that but we're not because we're starting P2 alongside Carlos Sainz then it's Lando and Lewis Hamilton George Russell and Joe Verstappen and Piastri Bottas and Gasly round out the top 10 then it's Leclerc and Ocon Alonso and Sonoda, Stroll and Fittipaldi, Albon and Dennis Hauger, Sargent and Lawson and it's an all Haas final row headed by Kevin Magnussen. So we're here on the grid then and the weather indicator says it's going to rain for most of the race. It's currently dry which had me scared because I decided to go for a wet setup so you can imagine how scared I was when I saw it was dry but this is our qualifying lap then we took a new engine and gearbox and we haven't got a penalty for it which is strange but we're going to be starting on the softs and it's meant to rain fairly early in this race so we may not be on the dry tyres for very long but here we go then no racing in Mexico and we're straight into the tyre tracks of Carlos Sainz to the outside, he's on the mediums. Lewis Hamilton gets a double toe, he's passed us up into P2, and now he may be getting into P1. We make contact, contact with Sainz, contact with Hamilton as we squeeze our way through the middle. Max Verstappen has found a way past Hamilton. We somehow find a way to take the lead of the Mexican Grand Prix in the first couple of corners. We lead. From sides from Max Verstappen, who did get the job done on Lewis Hamilton. After that contact we had with him. Now though this is Sainz coming up the back of us to the inside. And it is job done then for Sainz nearly, but we force him wide as this is Alex Albon going backwards and retiring from the race Albon is out now Verstappen is having a go at Carlos Sainz through that tight chicane and Max has to back out of that one it's now Sainz getting closer and closer and closer to it as we go down the straight lap 7 before we go Sainz at the inside we're going to try and hold it to the outside, we now have the inside line, we squeeze Sainz right to the edge of the track and that's allowed Max Verstappen to overtake the Spaniard and he's up into P2. Red Bull been quicker in the past but Red Bull been absolutely nowhere once again this season as Max tried to go for it down on inside but we fend him off for now. There's quite a big train behind us now. Three cars as we come out of the final corner. Just trying to build a gap as we go on to lap eight. But Max Verstappen in the tire tracks pulls to the inside and pulls ahead. But now we're going to use his slipstream to go back to the outside. But Max is through and ahead of us now as we go through the triple chicane we're going to look to get the exit and the rain has arrived you know just seen on the camera lens there we're going to, we're going to go for a gap down the inside of Max stabbing back into the lead it's so deep Max now on our outside we force him wide Sainz now going back down the inside of the stabbing okay, nice. Mark saying that it is getting wetter as Sainz and Verstappen go wheel to wheel. Max nearly losing it there. And Sainz does re overtake Max Verstappen as you can see here. Yeah. 
You can see the rain here coming down as into the final sector through the stadium se section. And the track is getting wetter and wetter. It's now down into the signature game. We've gone deep, we've gone really deep. Matt's trying to go round our outside. We're off the track now. We've got back on. Matt is going to get down our inside and we stay ahead. The Red Bull and Titans is having another go at Max Verstappen. It's fallen back into Lewis Hamilton. Is that side by side through the S section? George Russell getting in on the axis. We look to be nearly sideways there. Coming out of the S section is now Hamilton trying to find a gain of place. May lose out to his teammate. Side by side into the stadium section, but Hamilton stays ahead. So science so battling the two Mercedes has allowed me and Max to pull away. To the inside though goes Max Verstappen as we squeeze him and he's nearly gone sideways into the side of us there as he loses it on a damp patch off the track tries to go to our inside we hold around the outside nearly a big one there for us and Max Verstappen Max are going back to our inside as we go into the second chicane we try and hold it to the outside and we do we now have the inside line we squeeze max right off the track science and that have joined the party there is now quite a big train behind us lap 12 and yes it is still raining and we still are going on these tires max overtake it takes us we go back to the inside we stay ahead of Max Verstappen on a track now that is like an absolute skating rink there's now Max on the back of us as we go down the pit straight Max goes to the inside we give him a little nudge we try and hold around the outside now into turn one and it is job done on Max Verstappen we keep him behind once again as we try and find any sort of grip as towards the end of the fight of the same lap lap 13 we're nearly sideways going into the stadium section this track now is a skating rink there is no grip on this track now as we lit up the race again we're nearly into the pit lane as we get to the as we exit the final corner there is no grip but now we're going to be a sitting duck to max verstappen Max goes to the inside, we tuck back into his slipstream. We're gonna go back down the inside and Max was tapping into the first corner. And we keep the Dutch driver behind and he's really had to lift out of that one. And now maybe under threat from the pole sitter, Carlos Sainz. But Sainz was too far back. Now lap 15 and Max was tapping really overtakes us in this time. I think we are a bit too far back to re-overtake him and Max Verstappen's finally got the job done on us then coming out of turn 3 but we've managed to stick with him Verstappen now we're so far back but we're gonna go for the lunge up the inside we try and keep the car turned in you can see the track now there is zero grip the rain's still coming down and our setup isn't really helping us in these conditions. As round the outside goes sight onto, onto Max Verstappen but Max keeps him behind. Isn't it? It's now this is lap 16, the end of lap 16 and those behind even though the track it's a skating rink and it's getting wetter and wetter the Alpha Tauri and the Haas are both pitting for another set of dry tyres both of them going onto the mediums I mean it was our time to box and these soft tyres were absolutely shot but the rain was coming down there was no point pitting as you can see the conditions now on lap 17 there is our spray just about coming off the tyres. We keep Max behind. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Okay, it's Mark telling us the drivers have the best tyres. I 
doing right now because there's no um, spray coming off the tyres and there is zero grip out onto the track as we come towards the end of lap 17 and we're just trying to find any grip whatsoever as we end the exit to the stadium section and now we light up the rear tyres coming out to the final corner and now in the space of one lap Mark has gone from telling us it's still dry to telling us it's nearly time for the inters in one lap Max I guess a drop down on us we're going back to the inside of Max Verstappen I don't know if we're really meant to do that just trying to slow the car down and but we've lost out Max to Carlos Sainz is rear overtaken the Red Bull after being sat in his gearbox and now I think it has to I think 18 laps overdue it started raining on lap 8 of this race and we're still going on softs but as we come to the end of lap 18 it is time finally for the intermediates as we trundle down the pit lane and Piastri's followed us in Piastri's following us in, I'm not sure where he was hopefully we don't hold him up as we go on to the Inters and we just we do it on Piastri up just, we beat out the Ferrari of Sainz, I was a bit hesitant but as those behind were boxing onto another set of mediums I didn't want to box to Inters and then box again but as we can see the pits now down the inside of Fittipaldi dispatching quickly he's on the drives we'll try and get away and leave Sainz to deal with that one but Sainz on the outside then of Fittipaldi and he is through but now this is where my tactics hopefully pay off I did not think we'd go this deep into the race and finally be on the intermediate tyres of Max Verstappen. Box is now only just beats out George Russell then behind him as they're in the pits and we're rocketing down the pit straight. Now there's Gasly, Bottas and Hamilton who's still yet to pit. There is Max Verstappen he's actually fit about him. Piastri our teammate is beating him out as well there. And that's good for us horrible for Red Bull but by the time Hamilton you can see him in Hamilton in Bottas in Gasly will be in will be into the lead of the Grand Prix and now we can have some confidence and lap 28 you can see the gap behind nearly 5 seconds and this wet setup has, is working for us. I tried to think about it tactically. I didn't think the rain would take us this long to go on to Inters. As Fittipaldi in his Alfa Romeo is pulling off to be our second retirement of the Grand Prix, and he is out that Ferrari engine giving up in the back of that Sauber it's now lap 35 we were in cruise control as we lap then Nick De Vries and come on to the end of lap 36 it's a result we desperately needed if we want to get back into the championship hunt with just now three races and a sprint to go we round the final corner to win a tricky mexican grand prix oh superb driving that is the race win my friend well done It's a performance to be proud of from our Mexico City Grand Prix winners today. Talk to me, Ant. 
What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. So we win then the Mexican Grand Prix, desperately, desperately needed after the last couple of races. Our wet setter, my genius, really paid off there. So nearly backfired when I saw it was dry at the start of the race. Can't believe how wet it got and we were still out there on dry tyres. Took us to lap 18 with the rain getting heavier and heavier before it finally was time for the Inters. Sainz, P2 and Joe got a result for him and his McLaren in P3. The stop in P4 it could have been so much more for him but staying out that extra lap on dries is ultimately cost him a chance of the win today. George finishes P6. Two retirements then in terms of Fittipaldi and Alex Albon. So this is the championship. Now we have taken a big chunk out of George Russell's lead. 31 points now the gap. It was 52 coming into this one. George finishing P6, us winning has very much helped us out. It's still a big margin to overturn though. 31 points. There's still three races to go this season including the sprint race next time out in Brazil. This is at the bottom, still a couple of drivers still yet to score and this is the constructors then. We gained some points on Mercedes today, it was poor for Lewis Hamilton as well today. So we gained some points on Mercedes and there's still two teams yet to score in AlphaTauri and Haas. So that's been New Mexico Grand Prix then. A very very good race, tricky at times, driving on ice for most of that race. We go to Brazil next for our final sprint race of the season and I'll see you then goodbye